Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, my name is Batman Abiola, welcome. So, happy new year, happy 2022. Um, yeah, it's the new year, and I thought I would start off the new year here on my channel with a story time. If you guys don't know me, or you're new, hi, my name is Bemi. I am a homebody. I don't like going outside. I prefer being at home if I am not at work or doing grocery shopping or getting food. I prefer being at home. I don't know. Like, that's just me. I like being at home. Um, but on the rare instances that I do go outside, maybe like one in three times something happens. And uh, it leaves me, like, stupefied, confused as to, like, did this really happen? So this story time is one of those instances. So this story time is about the time I got arrested in Walmart for a fake ID and high school truancy. So yes, <laughs> if you're interested in hearing the story time, please keep on watching. And if you are not, please stop right here. It's not worth your time and effort. So, I guess let's get into the story time. I'm just going to set the scene for you guys very quickly. So, this takes place in early June 2016 during a weekday. I don't remember the day of the week that it was, but it was definitely during a weekday because my younger brother was in school that day. This takes place at Walmart and at my old high school and involved myself my mom and my younger brother. I had just got my driver's license so I was really excited to like be able to go and do things by myself instead of waiting for my mom or dad to take me when they were going out and doing things. Um, so I was planning on going to Walmart to get some personal care items like my body wash, I had run out of nail polish remover, um, my hair stuff, um, eyeliner, just like basic self-care, personal care things. Um, my mom um, was planning on going to do grocery shopping that day. So I had asked her if I could tag along to see if she was going to Walmart. And if she was going to Walmart, it would be great because then I don't have to go later and waste gas, you know? So my mom's like, yeah, I'm actually going to Walmart. I got to go to BJ's, do some other things, and then I'm going to Walmart. And I was like, that's great. It's all in the same plaza. It's all in the same area. Um, if she needs help with groceries, I'm right there. Cool. My mom and I, we go to BJ's. We do what we need to do at BJ's. BJ's is a BJ Berkeley and Jensen wholesale store. It's the wholesale store in my town. So we go to BJ's. We do what we got to do at BJ's. Um, she does what she needs to do at some of the other stores. I go to Sally's to get some hair dye or some things, shampoo, conditioner, whatever I need to get there. And then we go into Walmart. When we get into Walmart, I said, I'll go and get the things that I need. You go what get what you need to get. And then um, I'll probably be done before you're finished. So I will just check my stuff out and then sit at the front of the store like on the bench in the front of the store. My mom said, that's a really good idea. It saves us time. We go our separate ways in the store. So I get my nail polish remover. I get the bath wash, uh, my body wash, my hair oils, things like that. I get them and I come to the front of the store, the self checkout, right? And I scan my thing. So I scan everything and the nail polish remover is last. I scan the nail polish remover and that little box that pops up on the self-checkout screen that it needed to be like verified or like a code punched in. So the person, the employee who was managing the self-checkout, who was like watching the self-checkout, she came and she punched a code in. And then another box popped up saying like it was prohibited if the person is under 18, you need to check ID. She asked me if she could see my ID. So I pull out my ID, my fresh, brand new driver's license, mind you, to show her that I was over the age of 18. I was 20 at the time. So she looks at my ID, looks at me, looks at my ID, looks at me again. Picture on my ID was of me at 16 years old. 
um, when I got my driver's license, um, they would not let me take a new picture to put on my driver's license because I was going to get the 21 plus license in a couple months so they said you can just go and take a new picture for the 21 plus license I was like four months is not gonna kill me so okay that makes sense she looks at my driver's license looks at me again and she's like this is not you I'm like it is me um I was 16 so she like puts the ID up by my face and she's like okay now I see it, it is you and she's like but you're not 20 like this has to be a fake ID. I'm like, it's not a fake ID. It's it's my new driver's license. Like, I just passed my road test. Like, that's what they sent to me in the mail. And so she's like, I'm gonna have to call a manager because this to me is fake. And so I was like, okay. So I called the store manager. She calls the store manager, and she she explains the situation. And I was like, I just came to buy nail polish remover and stuff. Like, I'm that's my ID. Like, I'm 20. Like. I don't understand what's going on. So the the manager takes my ID. She looks at me, looks at my ID. Does the same thing that the employee does. And she's just like, this ID is fake. I'm like, it's not fake. It's my driver's license. Meanwhile, two cops had come into the store. Because there had been a disturbance in the store. And they got a call. Um, this had nothing to do with me. The call. I was just shopping. So there was a disturbance in the store. And they had come. They attended to the disturbance. And then they were just kind of standing at the store talking to somebody so the, the store manager go calls over there and she's like i believe that this is a fake id uh, i don't believe that this young lady is 20 years old um she looks like she's a minor like why isn't she in school so this nice cop one of the two cops is really nice the other cop was a douchebag he was so rude uh, so the nice cop was just like Okay, so he looks at my ID, he asks me for my name, like I tell him my name, I give him my full name, um, and he's just like, okay, it matches the ID, um, and I was like, if you need any other forms of identification, I have my college ID as well as my credit and debit cards to back up my ID, and he's just like, are you sure this is you on the picture? I'm like, yes. That is a brand new under 21 license. I just got that license. I just passed my road test. And um, that's what they gave me. Um, and that picture, they just moved my picture from the permit to my license. And they said when I get the new license, the 21 plus license in October, that they'll change the picture. Understood. He showed the other cop, the, the rude cop, my ID. And he was just like that can't be her, that can't be her, this is a fake ID, and I was like, it's not a fake ID, like, I just explained everything to your partner, and he's just like, it's a fake ID, you're under the age of 18, I was 20, by the way, I was 20 years old, I was supposed to be 20, I'm turning 21 in October of 2016, so he did not believe me, he's just like, this has to be a fake ID, why aren't you in school, I'm like, I'm home from college, I don't understand, like, of course I wouldn't be in school, like, I'm home from college, like, college let out for the summer, like, the semester's done, I don't go back until August. He didn't believe me. Mind you, I was wearing my college sweatshirt, my Oswego sweatshirt. Um, I went to SUNY Oswego, the State University of New York at Oswego. That's my alma mater for my college, so I was wearing my Oswego sweatshirt. Mind you, I was wearing my sweatshirt, and I had shown them my college ID. They still did not believe me. The rude cop insists that he, I'm in handcuffs. And I was just like, why? I didn't do anything. And he was like super insistent. It's like, we're going to take you to your old high school. You're a truant. You're a truant. And I was like, I'm not a truant. This is not a fake ID. I just came to do some shopping with my mom. They were going to take me. And I was like, can I at least call my mom first? So she knows what's going on because... If she's wondering why I disappeared, it's not going to be funny. The nice cop undid my handcuffs and let me call my mom. So I call my mom and she's like, why are you calling me? What's going on? Is there an issue? And I was just like, yes, there's a problem. These two police officers do not believe 
that I am 20 years old. They think I'm a truant from high school. And she's like, what are you talking about? I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. I'll be there in five minutes. Because my mom is at the other side of the store, right? She's all the way in the back of the store doing God knows what. So it takes some time for her to get to the front of the store. My mom comes up and she's like, um, hello. I'm Dr. Abriola. I'm her mother. What's going on? So I explain the situation to them. The store manager's there, the employee's there. My mom's like, but she's 20 and she's in college. And they didn't believe her. Also, they thought that my mom was my sister. You know, that's my mother. And she could be your mother. <laughs> I'm not lying, because these cops had to be at least probably like late 20s, early 30s at most. I was like, she's my mom. She could be your mother. Like, she's old enough to be your mother. They didn't believe her when my mom's like I'm her mother mom's like I don't understand like why escalate this from and she's like also this is a fake ID my mom's like that's not fake that is her driver's license she just got it she just passed a road test um that is a brand new driver's license they just refuse to take a new picture because she will end up getting a new license anyway in a couple months they still don't believe her on that so they're just like we're gonna take her back to her old high school because we believe she is a truant um, and then they can sort everything there. My mom's like, fine, we can go. So my mom hadn't even checked out her basket. I didn't even finish my purchase. We just dropped our stuff. And I was like, can I at least, like, ride in the minivan with my mom? Like, it's my mom. Okay. They wanted to put me in the back of the police car. The rude cop did not want me to ride with my mother. The nice cop let me ride with my mother. So I get in my mom's van and they escort us back to my high school. We get there and we go in through the main entrance and we had to be buzzed in um, and let in. So once they buzzed us in, they saw my mom, they're just like, oh, hi, Dr. Abiola, you're probably dropping something for Afalorn. And my mom's like, um, we'll just come to the main office. There's an issue, there's a problem. So they let us in. So we get to the main office. I walk in first, followed by my mom and then the two police officers. So the office ladies at my high school who work in the main office was like, oh, hi, Bemi, how are you? How's college going? We haven't seen you in a couple of years. Um, last time we saw you was like, I think a year or two ago when you had to drop something off for your brother. And I was like, um, it's fine. Like, I'm fine. <laughs> college is great. I just finished my third year. They asked me what I'm studying. I told them what I'm studying. And they're just like, so why are you here with your mom? Like, did you come to drop something off for your brother? So my mom pipes up, is like, no, we're not here to drop something off for Afalorn. Um, Afalorn's my younger brother. Ask the police officers what's going on. Stops, explain to them the situation. They said that they believed that I was truant and they were turning me back to the school. So the office ladies were very confused and they're just like, why? She's in college. Remember how I said I was wearing my Oswego sweatshirt? They're just like, she's in she's in college. She graduated three years ago. Like, she's no longer a student here. The nice cop was like, okay, like, pretty chill about it. He's like, okay, like, it's understandable now. But the rude cop, the rude cop was so insistent. He was just like, she has to be a student here. She has to be a student here. And he was just like, like, she has to be. And I was just like, I, at that point, I was just very confused. I was tired of all of it. My mom was tired, my mom was very annoyed. And they're just like, we wanna talk to like the principal or the vice principal. So one of the office ladies goes to get um, the principal. Um, let's call him Mr. C. Mr. C was vice principal when I was in high school. Um, but shortly after I left, he became principal. So Mr. C comes in and he's just like, oh, hi, Bummy. How are you? How's college going? And I was like, it's great, Mr. C. And he greets my mom. Hi, Dr. Abiola. How are you? And my mom's like, good, Mr. C. How are you? He's like, so what can I help you with today? Police officers step forward and it's like, oh, we're here to deliver this student back to you. We believe she's a truant. Um, we're wondering why she's not in school today. So Mr. C just looks at them like perplexed and he's like, but she graduated three years ago. She's no longer a student here. She's in college. But the rude cop was still not having it. 
So my guidance counselor, my old guidance counselor, like her door was open so she could hear everything that was going on. So she kind of like pops for and she's just like, uh, what's going on? So I see her, I was like, oh, hi, Mrs. R. Let's call her Mrs. R. I was like, hi, Mrs. R. She's like, hi, Bemi, how are you? How's college? I'm like, it's good. She, she asked my mom how she's doing. She's like, hi, Dr. Abiola, how are you doing? Are you here for Apple Lauren? My mom was just like, no, we're here in regards to Bemi. She's just like, why? She doesn't go here anymore. She graduated. She's just like, so the police officer had to explain the situation to her. She was just like, but she's in college. They still didn't believe her. They didn't believe me. They didn't believe the office ladies. They didn't believe Mr. C. The entire time, my ex-physics teacher, Mr. D, um, his classroom was right across the main office. And the main office didn't have frosted windows. They had like straight clear windows. So he saw what's going on. He like came, he's just like, hi, hey Bummy, how is it going? How's college going? And I was like, everything's good, Mr. D. He sees my mom, hi Dr. Abiola, how are you? So my mom's like, how are you? And he was just like, what's going on? So the police officers explained to him, she, she's in college. She, so he was very confused. The nurse cop was like, okay, like it's pretty evident that this young lady is not a minor. It's pretty evident that she is in college. Reminding you again, I have I am wearing my college sweatshirt. The rude cop was still not having it. I think he was his the nice cop superior. He was still not having it. If everybody's telling you and you refuse to be wrong, like you have a problem. Mr. D is like, you wanna know the person who can clear this all up? Her younger brother. Her younger brother. My brother, I think, was like in 10th grade at the time. Ten yeah, my younger brother was in 10th grade at the time. So they're just like, her brother can clear it up. So Mr. C's like, great idea. We'll call him down to the office and he will clear everything up. Call my little brother over the loudspeaker. Offalar and Abiola, please report to the main office. Offalar and Abiola, please report to the main office. So my little brother comes down maybe like three or four minutes later and he's just like, hi mom, hi Bemi, and I was like, hey Afalaren, my mom's like, hi honey, and he's like, what's going on, why was I called down to the main office? So, mind you, it's Mr. C, Mr. D, Mrs. R, the four or five office ladies, my mom, myself, and the two cops. So the cops explained the situation that had happened and that they were turning me to school. And my little brother just looks at them, he's just like, my sister's in college. She's in college, like she doesn't go here anymore. She graduated three years ago. She's 20. Like she's even wearing her school sweatshirt. And then the nice cop was just like, I, I completely understand that that's what everybody has been saying, but my partner here does not understand that. And then it finally hit the rude officer. It finally hit the rude officer that I was actually my age. And I was actually in college. Because he didn't believe that I was my age or in college because of my face and my height. I'm five foot three and a half. I know I look very young when I have no makeup on. I always get told that I look at least 15, 16 years old. I can't help it. It runs in my family. I get it from my mom. I get it from my grandma. We just look young. I look younger than I actually am. It finally hits this man that I am actually my age. My ID isn't fake. And everybody has confirmed what I had said. He doesn't even say a word. He doesn't even look at anybody. He just leaves the main office doesn't even apologize to me or my mom for wasting our time. The nice police officer apologized to me, apologized to my mom for wasting our time and interrupting our shopping trip. And he gives me back my ID. And instead of going back to Walmart, since we were right by the house anyway, my mom said, let's just go home. We can go to Walmart later and get the stuff that you need. We were just so annoyed because 
we had literally just wasted like two to three hours of our time like if, if you know me and you know my mom and you know my family we do not like to have our time wasted like so just to have our time wasted was very annoying and very frustrating I did end up telling my dad um, a while after that this happened and he asked me why I didn't call him and that he would have just come and cleared everything up and I was just like sir you were at work and he's just like so I said you don't pick up your phone sometimes and he's just like so I'm like but you are at work he's like when it has to do with your mom your siblings or you I will drop everything and come okay next time something like this happens you call me and I said okay I will call you next time so yeah that's the story very boring ending but it just felt like weird this is very much annoyance and perplexion and confusion and frustration <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the story time please let me know what you guys think has anything of that nature happened to you before um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Don't forget to follow me on social media. My Instagram and Twitter are at Benz Abiola. I hope you all have a wonderful day today, and I will see you all in my next video. Guys. So yeah, that's a very boring ending. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if something of that nature has happened to you before, because it can't, it can't just be me. Like, situations probably have happened to people of that nature before too, so I want to know if it has happened to you before, something similarly, or in a similar realm to you. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel down below. Also. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, Instagram and Twitter are at Bems Abiola. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.